All right, guys. So finally, I have the Thrustmaster T150. So let's just jump right into drifting already because honestly, something is wrong. I'm pretty sure they need to fix something with an update. But the car is like in Gran Turismo 5, there used to be like uh, uh, drift and time trial right here. Drift and time trial. If you wanted to drift, the car would behave differently as if the physics are slightly tuned towards drifting. And in time trial, the car would be slightly different so that you can kind of corner better or something like that. I'm not sure what they actually do, but it's different. In this game right now, it's literally the same. So if you go here, this is where I recommend to drift to this course and go right here. Pick any time, of course. Let's just do daytime because it's brighter. But yeah, like, uh, I don't understand why it's literally the same. So I'll try to show you in game if if that comes up for well, what I mean. So first, let's actually talk about drifting. Settings, it's really, I've been playing with this so much. I actually ended up choosing comfort hard for the front and comfort medium for the back because of this time trial effect thingy. Anyway, if you go to detail, I'll quickly show you. <coughs> you have negative camera angle all the way maxed out to my angle as well. I try to play with these other things, you know, you can press square and it'll tell you what to do, making it stiff or uh, you will understeer and it can be real, will result in more oversteer, so you can play with those. You definitely need to get the steering angle adapter, even though it doesn't let you actually play with the steering angle, unless I don't know how to do that, so somebody please let me know if you figured it out. So let's just get started and go to the basics. So first, oh, I forgot to show you the first feedback. Let's stop for stop right away. I don't even do anything. So settings, let's go to control settings. Yes, so it's two and 10. This seems to be like a sweet spot for me. It could be different for you. It could be different for what wheel you're using. But for me, this seems like the best. Obviously assist, take everything off even this one off but it didn't seem to make a difference for some reason i think this is probably just for the controller i'm not sure uh but just have everything off you can keep abs on it doesn't matter unless you're planning to use that while drifting but we're not going to do that so first again same as the motion sensor controller what you want so i look at that it shouldn't be that slippery like that's not possible i don't know what's going on here i'm pretty sure there's I know Gran Turismo Sport had this kind of problem and then they fixed it in an update and then drifting became amazingly smooth but anyway the first thing you want to do is get yourself in first gear you want to get used to how the steering wheel moves like because of the wheels like because the car is sliding and moving on the track so number one just go in a circle and see how much force it takes it kind of feels like it's harder than in real life but I don't know this is just the best spot for our force feedback for drifting so let's uh <clears throat> if i do this see like look at that that's too much it's not supposed to do that it's not actually connecting but anyways let's try, try to teach you first what you want to do is press the gas enough and, and counter steer faster like that and see if you can catch the car okay at first you should be doing this and keeping the steering on the same way so you can see what happens when you press the gas it really wants to stop like that see what happens with this it's stop so once you're done with that, then you do, then you move on to this, we do this and go the other way. Let's see if we can catch it like that. And let's try it again. Catch it like this, but oh, this time it was too late. And then see if we can do this way, but go slowly and see what happens. So basically what you're trying to do is, now that we have the wheel is, you're trying to turn and see how early you have to counter steer. And how early depends on how fast you can notice that. Oh, now it's gonna slide. Like, you know, let's do that one more time. If I turn this way, oh, it didn't really slide there. Let's try one more time. Now it slid, so now you have to go back. See, so basically it did drift. Once you can master that, and go, oh, it's right here, so now I can go this way. Then try and turn even more. So try the other way if you go this way. See, that's. One second, I'm going to go time. Go more and more and see what happens. Oh, for some reason it didn't hold it. Let's try it again. Let's go faster. 
Oh, but this time it came back. You gotta try to do that so you can understand how the car behaves when it's uh, oversteering or it loses control and the back turns up. Once you're done with that, mm, see if you can actually control some donuts before you go to the corner. So you almost never do go on the rapid. 